I get to deliver the good news today. That rain is coming with some warmer temperatures, 20 to 30 degree temperature swings, leaving nearly 250 million of you with highs above 70. Yes. Bring it on. This is America's Morning Headquarters. I'm meteorologist Stephanie Abrams alongside meteorologist Jordan Steele and Jim Cantori. Jim, let's get right to it because we still have this pesky low pressure <laughs> enough already. I know, but it's got a lot of temperatures too because we're going to get a little bit of a rebound here after we are dealing with temperatures 5, 10, even 20 degrees below at times. It's been quite chilly out there and starting off in the south. Look at this. We're into the 40s. A lot of us are around five below where we should be right now. It is chilly around the Great Lakes, also into the Northeast. And our highs today, they don't improve much, but I'll tell you what, 40s and 50s, not terrible. It could be a lot colder, but it's not. Into the south, we get the 60s and 70s. And as long as you have the sunshine, then these temperatures are cool. If you get the rain in the clouds, not so cool. That's obviously what's going to keep us a little bit cooler around the Great Lakes, too. It feels raw. It's, it's miserable. But if you have 70 in sunshine, good to go. 65 in sunshine, you're great. 65 in clouds and rain, double thumbs down here. So we'll be anywhere from 5 to even 20 degrees below average. Tomorrow morning, we still still feel those cooler temperatures, but you'll see this warmth to our west and it is going to start shifting east and that's going to warm us up here from the Mississippi River onto the uh, east coast. Look at tomorrow. St. Louis 80 degrees, Chicago 73. It's a lot warmer in Chicago than it is here in New York. We're still dealing with that upper level system Jim was just showing you, but of course that warmth is coming to us from the west. So we will see that all shift east as we head especially into next week we will see those warmer temperatures 70s even the 80s are back finally and i think i think this is it i think we're starting to turn the corner here on these uh, temperatures for us look at pittsburgh today 47 we are going to be 30 degrees warmer with the sunshine Come Monday, Jim. We always need something to look forward to. I think this is it. Absolutely. And Steph mentioned to be River Valley. We want to go to where it all begins here on the northern part of it. And notice we have many rivers with our flood gauges, major to moderate. And I, I sat this morning. I looked at all these river gauges right here um, along Iowa and also in, right along Iowa, Illinois border. And some of them will actually get down to moderate by Friday. A lot of them, it's going to take a week to get down to moderate. And some of them, it's going to take a little later. But what I will say is all of these river gauges, the forecast is for them to trend down. Some of them to trend very slowly down but they are trending down so that is the good news we'll get a little bit of rain it's not too much rain this is not going to change uh the forecast and obviously they take this into consideration when these forecasts are being made but you will see some clouds and showers move in here for our friday and saturday of course the rivers are high because of the snow melt that we've been seeing here for the most part that's what's causing everything to rise up sunday we still continue to see really just kind of cloudy messy weather last through the day on sunday so not a super great sunday for us here how about our forecast into Kansas City? We have a gorgeous Thursday coming for us in a couple days. This system here, which is massive, I was talking about, is bigger than my wingspan. This thing is going all the way from the Midwest, off the East Coast, up into Canada, all sorts of little bits of energy within it. Everything spinning counterclockwise here. I mean, you've got you've got energy here, you got energy here, you got energy here. It's all around, and so that's going to give us oomph. That's going to give us some lift in the atmosphere. It is thankfully weakening and opening up, as we call it, because we had this intense low pressure. We had a high pressure off to the west. We had a big pressure pressure gradient causing all those winds the last couple of days and causing those issues on I-55. With a weakening low and that wind, everything's kind of spreading out. We do not have a strong winds today, which is really good. And we are going to see clear skies in the um, upper Midwest. While into the east, we are going to see the rain and the snow. Buffalo here with rain at 37 degrees and a few showers are going to start rotating around here as we look along the east coast. Cloud cover is going to be uh, thick for some of us. And though our temperatures are below average. This is not going to help. We could use some of that sunshine to really help us out here, but it is going to be a rain event for us. And by the way, I was just looking at Buffalo in this last commercial break, and Buffalo is still, if you can believe it, 38.2 inches above average on snowfall. We are still three feet above average on snowfall, but I was like, when's the last time we had snow? For all of April, we only had a trace. We only had a trace That's of snow. Crazy. 
you got to go back. March had 10 inches, February had seven, which is fine, but not huge. But it was at January we had 14, December we had 64, November we had three feet, and I didn't get back to look at October. So I'll look that one up. But it was really the end of last year, just towards January, and then we kind of shut it off. But we're still running that far above average. It's, it's pretty impressive here. Um, there was two lake events, two lake effect events, I should say, that were massive and brought us huge snowfall totals. A little bit of snow here into West Virginia. It's going to feel cold enough for snow, I'll tell you that much, because you do have those clouds and those showers around. So it'll be pretty raw when we get um, through the day today. Charleston, we kind of stay a little bit just to the west of it. So, yeah, we'll have the clouds here, Jim, but it's not going to be super rainy. <laughs> Uh, and so hurricane season is less than a month away. June 1st is the official start of hurricane season. So we want to slowly start refreshing you mm. or if you've maybe moved down to the south and you're not super familiar with hurricanes. But I will say I know people that lived in Florida their whole lives and they still ask me questions every year. What does this mean? What does that mean? You know, so I think it's a good refresher. Right. And the other thing, too, I want you to take away from this is just because you see a forecast on Monday does not mean it hasn't changed by Tuesday afternoon exactly. or Wednesday. So you have to, so you have to keep a, I mean, I'm talking about every six to 12 hours you got to keep looking and then, of course near the event even closer than that so please have that as a takeaway all right so tropical storm classifications uh less than 38 miles an hour is tropical depression i mean i don't know how they came up with this i guess it's kind of started with the with the beaufort wind scale right and it, and it moved up to the Saffir Simpson scale, but it would be nice if it was a nice round number. I know, it like would 40 be. to 75. And by the way, 76 to when they do the I winds, when they're in there and they change the winds, it's by five mile per hour increments. They never go, oh, the winds are 72, they're now 91. Right. right. You know, it, it's always it's an, always an even. It's it's it's, an, it's yeah. 95 or 100 yeah. or yeah, you know, it, it ends at a five or zero. Uh, so what's interesting about the the wind damage scale, well, especially when you get up in here, it's exponentially. It's an exponential relationship. Yeah. That's exactly. Right. So these lines should really be way, I'm going to go way off the map here. Yeah. All right. In terms of how it compares to a one or two. In other words, you just don't go up a category. But I will say a couple things. If you're in the eye wall of a category one, you will get damage. You will get damage. Right. So don't sleep on an eye wall category one. Plus, remember the speed. Yeah, that too. And I right. also want to make the note is if you're a high end, you know, cat three, low end cat four, same damage from one, you know, right. 125 to 130. Right. And, and, you know, when they obviously took Ian and said, okay, well, it was a five over water before landfall. It still was. Just semantics. Yeah. But good information to have. Now we're going to move on to everyone's favorite. New episode of Highway Through Hell, Sunday night at 8, 7 central, only on the Weather Channel. Jim, I feel like I can very relate to them in a very small sense because we're out working in the weather too nothing like them i mean i can't imagine their my fingers hurt just holding an eye you know standing there yeah we don't have steel working cables all this stuff. breaking right. with uh, 3,000 pounds of pressure but off. i can't I, imagine that with yeah. the weather on top oh, of I know, it i know and and everyone's everything is different you know at least we know what to expect in a blizzard yes. or hurricane they you know you didn't never, you know never know what, what to expect. expect uh so let's talk about this